feel ill. I ran from here to the toilet where I cried my eyes out. I try to keep calm in front of Pater. I don't want to make him feel worse. They're supposed to go somewhere near Dresden. I'm really worried that there will be bombing there and that something may happen to the boys. Pater's not used to a lot of work and there's bound to be hard labor there. My dearest boy. We haven't quarreled at all since I arrived here and I don't know what I'd do if he left. September 28th, 1944. The train's already here, and both the boys have already got on it. Pater's number is 2392, and Pavel, 2626. They're together in the same car. Pater's terribly calm, and Uncle is full of admiration for him. It was a horrible sight that will stay with me forever. A crowd of women, children, and old men were pressed around the barracks to get a last look at their son, husband, father, or brother. The men leaning out of the windows were pressed against each other to catch a glimpse of their dearest ones. We quickly ran home and brought the boys two slices of bread each so that they wouldn't be hungry. I pressed through the crowd, crawled under the rope from the barracks, and passed Pater the bread through the window. I had enough time to hold his hand through the bars before a guard drove me away.